So in the last 12 hours, um, a lot of stuff has happened. So basically what happened was that, like, Eversign released a, a new RPG kit. Like, literally a revamp of his new, of his old RPG kit that everyone copied and all that stuff. Well, a couple hours ago, I couldn't really have answered that question, but, um, now I can. So, stay tuned, I'll be reviewing this RPG kit and showing you guys if it's worth making a new RPG game fit. I mean, this game is new, so do not expect it to be working, but, uh, other than that, I guess we'll just hop right it. So, stay tuned, and, um, yeah, I'll go. And today we're going to be having a look at Eversign's RPG Kit version 2. Now, this can either be version 2 or version 3 depending on how you look at it because Eversign has released the Spartan Game Studios, um, the Spartan Studios RPG Kit and the Eversign RPG Kit, and this is version 3, too. You know what? It doesn't matter nonetheless because, um, it's, it's, it's a new kit and people have been explained and have been giving me thoughts on it and personally, I don't really know about it. I have, I've, I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've heard some people saying it's good, some people saying it's bad. But, um, I'll be the judge of this video today and just showing you guys what, you got, what I'm showing you guys my thoughts on this. So, that being the sales up right now. But before we begin, if you guys are new to the channel, like me, push on comment, just and please be sure to subscribe, like Antron Bell, on show. But you also know this video. That being the sales up right now. So, yeah, if you guys want me to, also, if you guys want me to make a tutorial series on this game, feel free to let me know. I'll be down to that too. Let's go. So, um, for those who don't know, um, Arisan, uh, WG Kit has, has, is probably one of the most popular RPG kits of all time. Um, right behind Case RPG Kit and right right in front of Case RPG Kit, so it's a pretty big deal. So, anyways, I'm gonna be showing you guys how this works. So basically, this is our Science RPG Kit. Um, yeah, I mean no duh. And basically, there are two things you got. Right, so basically, you can you there's basically armors. There's search, there's um there's armors. And there's new way data managers. There's like a search storage module, storage UI, and all that stuff. It's a pretty interesting. And um, I I kind of see this is a lot. This is something definitely you know every day. So. I'm not sure what to expect of it, but um, we're just going to hop right in it. So, let's start off with the first thing, aka the workspace. So, basically, we're just going to do the usual thing like I usually do. Um, workspace. Uh, basically, just do the same thing over and over again, or like we usually used to. Control U. Yeah. Usually, I do. Usually, I do. I used to do the, the other method, but this is much easier. So, yeah. Anyways, this is just my review on it. Um, so, and I can already tell this looks a lot better than the original. Um, even people like VNX. Ever sign, well, of course, it says it's good. And literally, people who are not impressed with RPG kits, um, like literal, like EJL says, it's pretty good. So, it's a pretty big deal when you think about it, considering that. Oh, oh my god. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I saw a GUI about it, but I forgot. I saw, I forgot to what the GUI looked like. It's pretty good, honestly. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, I guess I'll show you. I guess we're gonna grip all these, so. Uh, so let's show you guys, let me show you guys all this, so, basically we're going to control you all this, and yeah. So, let's start things off with the most important couple of things, um, so we got mobs, and all that stuff, so. So basically, here's how it works, so I'm just going to review my thoughts on it, and, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's start things off with, by posting a real game real quick. I know, it's very really boring, but I'm going to go for it anyways. Uh, so, I'm probably just going to create a new game. Let me update to an existing one. Will be a good idea. I'm probably gonna update my Vortex World. I don't know. I've never updated that. Before. I've never played a game for. Um, but I guess I have it in now. Okay, so Vortex World has finally been completed. Okay, that should work. It's actually a game for 2015. It was like, I think this that was the game before I made World of Nights. And yeah, it's the Dutchman calls to the Vortex World. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Anyway, let's hop right in, shall we? So, um, let's go into the settings real quick. Um, you know the usual things. We gotta go into security. Uh, you know API services. Basically, what's Day store. So yeah. Um now let's have a look at the first things we use. Let's start with the first things real quick. So this is our first way of doing it. So basically we've got chat, you can chat here, you have a sword. Uh, oh wow, okay. Um there's armor. Oh, okay, that's actually really cool. Then you got this icon that basically says take for free. Grab a copy and make your RPG go bit like this one. Top of spawn. Oh. Oh. Oh my god! Okay, that's actually pretty cool. I like that. That's actually something you don't see every day. Oh my god, that actually looks pretty cool. I'm not saying this is being nice. I actually like this. This actually looks so cool. Okay, nice. That's actually pretty damn cool. This actually is advanced. I didn't think this would actually be the case. Dude, that's amazing. It even has rock doll effects, dude! That's amazing! I don't know what to say. I, I like that. I, I actually like that, honestly. 
Jaden Mandra, Video Game 16, Deus Center. Oh my god. That's nice, dude. Okay, Reverius, for starters, I can already see that. This is what the RPG kit. This is basically every RPG kit be won by acceptance in 2023. I mean, no doubt. What'd you expect? I mean, clearly. But that's insane, dude. I like this. I actually really love it. And call me crazy if you want, but I love it. I mean, I don't know. It's like, it reminds me of Drops RPG Kit, but except it's a lot. It's it's how it's more of how it's supposed to be, if you know what I mean by that. And I don't know. I just really like it. I'm not sure there's criticals or misses in this game, but other than that, I don't really care because this kit is still pretty and good nonetheless. I mean, let's be honest here. So, yeah. Anyways, um, so I heard there's a bit of a couple, just a bit of a couple problems with the um. TP system from what I heard so um basically when you so basically like what happens is that um say for instance um there are like two TPs I guess I don't know so I guess there's like two so basically when there's like you can have the same I don't know the same type of level I don't know so let's just let's just, let's just start by grinding this grind guy a bit so yeah also yeah um I did change this to two I did I changed this to the original 2022 textures because the, our the original textures instead of the, uh, the other textures because the the other textures aren't just uh, the best honestly. I'm gonna be real honest. Yeah. Anyways, um, let's. I wonder if I can um. Hmm. I guess I wonder if I can uh. I guess so. let me actually do this real quick. Uh, this, this is just a quick demo. I'll just to test it out. Star gear player join. Okay. So turns out. Okay. Road case storage. Um, where is oh player that there it is. Okay, there's my thing. Stats level five. What that happens if I change it five? And it works. Okay. All right. So let's say, for instance, the dark forest. Um, okay. Oh. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Wait, does it even re reappear or no? If not, that's actually insane. And the abyss. <gasps> okay, that's actually so cool. I like that. Oh my god, they also jump like Chandra RPG mobs. That's amazing. I love this kit. I'm gonna be real honest. Dude, that's insane. I wonder what happens if filter inventory. Oh my god. I love this, dude. Ever since if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, but I mean I mean if ever since does watch my videos, honestly I don't care. Um but honestly I just wanna say Jesus Christ, you actually did pretty damn well with the RPG kit this time. Honestly, maybe I would hate the RPG kits and stuff like that. But you gotta admit, this actually looks so good, honestly. I mean, it's it's to the point basically like it's hard for people to criticize it because like it's just the same thing over and over. Because it's basically just it's base because the UI looks nice for one instead of like basically like, droplets and air signs, original RPG kit and stuff. And yeah, I I don't know. I just like it so much. All right, I'm gonna have a test of the sword shop and pawn shop. This is what we got here. So this is what we got. So, our, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh my God, that looks pretty. I, I like that. So maybe I can get 50 for 50 gold. I'm sure gold. I have. Uh, I wanted to buy the thing for 50 gold, not 100 gold, whatever. I don't know. I I don't. I just like it. I really like this. This is actually a really cool game. A really cool kit, honestly. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally going to have to. I'm totally going to be, um. Oh my god. Purge success? Okay, they actually added a kit. That's amazing. That that I actually like. You can't go wrong. Get wrong with me there. Dude. That time, can I? Oh my god. Ever Cyan, my guy. This is epic. Dude. This is a new start to RPG games in general. I mean, I'm not sure how, but so many people are coming are coming up with all these different ideas for the game, and that's just insane, honestly. Yeah, okay, okay. But yeah, um, now how would I rate this RPG kit? I would rate this a nine out of ten because it's still beta and stuff. But really, this—I mean, I haven't seen, it, I haven't really customized it. But from Star's point of view, I can already guarantee that this is honestly a really cool kit. Um, so yeah. Before I end off the video, um, I kind of wanted, I'm going to do, be do, I'm going to have to show you guys a couple things here and there, and just show you guys how the whole kit works. Yeah, I kind of look at it, um, while I was at the hotel, but I'll show you guys what we got. So, basically, here are the, th here are the things we got. So, we got the shop and the pond. So, basically, um, here's how the mob, I'll show you all the configs and stuff. So, let's say, for instance, config. So, we got the mob config, we got the pond config, dark forest config, and yeah, pretty much you get the point. So, let's start, for instance, um, the um, thief config. The mob config for the thief. So basically, here's how it works. Um, so basically, it's a, oh, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys not need to see me there. But basically, um, it's a bit more interesting. So basically, here's how it works. Basically, um, so basically here you got the name and you got and you also got the rank mob. You got the name, which is a few of base state brands. I want to call this guy. I'm sure. Black, white monster. I mean, I don't know. It's up to you guys. And uh, give this guy a bit more uh, and give make this guy neon. So I drop, but I'm gonna have to. And uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's, just, let's just make this guy all neon, cause why not? Uh, neon, neon, neon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry. People are gonna laugh. But like, this is a task, like I said. And uh, yeah. Oh, the head doesn't mesh. Okay, never mind. But basically, um, say for instance, you so basically you just want to make a black and white monster. It's called them um, black, black white, black and white monster, like a conflict monster, whatever. Then you got Dennis level. So basically, and so that basically that's the name. Um, this is a rank that requires basically like boss, basically. So, say for instance, you just want to call it I don't know boss. I guess then you got the level. The level, of, of course, is going to be the usual. Um, so this is a mob level. How you will notice there's actually two of them. So what does this mean? Well, basically, the first one is the level itself. Well, this is the 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 level required to kill it. So typically, basically, it's basically it's basically the whole it's basically a um droplets level system with every size level system combined if you know what I mean so yeah and this is the health as usual and the walk speed and jump power you guys get the point there you got the damage you got the follow distance or spawn time you guys already know what this is honestly um and then here the drops the drops are a bit more weirder honestly so I just want to show you guys this real quick but basically how it works is that um I don't know so like say for instance you wanted to um make so say for instance you want to have it drop one level and stuff, um, that could be easily ex easy. Just replace XP with this and then you and put the level there. So yeah, and if you guys don't want any of this happening, or if you guys don't want any of this to be here, I think all you have to do is simply delete this. I honestly don't know, but I'm going to test it real quick, so. Yeah, anyways, this, these are all the swords, these are all, and I think this is, so yeah, that's basically the stat name, stat count, so. Yeah, and you got I'm um, um, type, I'm um, name, I'm um, chance. Basically, say for instance that's one in five. Um, so basically that's one in ten. So that's basically like ten percent, I think, if I'm correct. Uh, I don't know, but basically that's pretty much the statistics. And then the items, of course, as usual, like I said there. And then teleport location. Basically, um, so basically what you had to do is this is basically teleport location instead of it being like I don't know on the usual. You guys maybe used to C frame dot new um, and then zero zero zero. That's not how it works actually. Um, it's a bit different, actually, and I'm surprised that he actually was able to do this. I think we did it with his other kits before, but, uh, I just thought I'd go over it, too. So, yeah, anyways, I'll show you guys that right now. So, basically, um, you notice there's something in this TP, um, room. You, if you notice something, there's this TP folder, if I'm correct. So, basically, uh, you got two TPs, you got the spawn and the abyss. Basically, copy that, and basically just copy the name of any of these, and then, boom, you'll pretty much have yourself, um... New, uh, and then boom, you pretty much have yourself a, um, you pretty much have yourself the teleport location. Just type in a name. So basically, it's like a string, basically. So basically, like, um, and then the string of a TP name. So basically, for instance, you want the abyss, copy this, copy the name of the abyss, and then make sure it's right here. And yeah, simple as that, honestly. And then the custom animations. This is a bit interesting because, um, I actually had to look at it later earlier, but, um, the custom animations are a bit more interesting. So basically, um, if you if you want to have if you want to have the default animations just so that to set denial, however if you want to keep if you want to have the normal animations or if you want custom animations, basically type the ID with the animations. So technically, um, yeah, it's basically like custom rigs and stuff like that. So where do you find a default animation? So basically, if you go into if I'm correct, uh, no, that's not it. If you go into client main mob client default animations, you'll see it. So you got running, jumping, and hit. These are all the default animations for your game. So yeah, um, other than that, there's really nothing else to say. So, I'm honestly surprised on how that. I honestly didn't think you actually make this kit. It, 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 this, it just came out of nowhere for me, honestly. Like when I heard it, when I saw it in the group chat, I was like, "Holy crap! How the hell did this thing come up? That this thing show up without me?" So yeah, um, that's really all there I have to say about the thief. So yeah, um, now let's move on to the tele. Now let's move on to like the pawn shop. The pawn shop is a bit more interesting. Um, it's basically, um, it's basically, it's, think about it as like, um, think about it as like, uh, it's basically the pawn shop, basically. Like, you can sell your stuff anyway, so yeah. Um, so, 
Not to be confused with the billboard joint names shop. So basically, this is the shop of the the pawn shop. So basically, you got you can change the color and all that stuff. So yeah, pretty much. Then you got the shop right here. Um, this is where you can. Now this is this is actually pretty interesting because you can print. This is the print where you can. Um, this is literally where you can take all the other tools and literally just make your own. Like you can just like say, for instance, you want to buy bronze armor. Just simply copy this and call it bronze armor. I mean, it's 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 so insane. So yeah. So that's really all there is to say about the shop and stuff. If you guys have, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to let me know. I'm planning to open up my Discord server to, uh, soon. So this is what I give you guys heads up on that. I am planning to open up my, my Discord server. A lot of people have been letting me open up my Discord server for a while. So yeah. Anyways, moving on. We now got the level doors and the TPs. I oh, know the level doors and the uh, portals. So let's start things off with the dark forest. So the level doors are really simple. I mean, what'd you expect? You got the dark forest, um, the dark forest level door, and then you got the level. So yeah. Use portal. Um, I don't think this is a portal. This was a level door, but okay. But yeah, that's pretty much a dark force level door. Then you got the abyss itself. So basically, yeah, that's basically all there is. So basically, you got the abyss. That's the name of the destination you want to go to. Uh, you got the level five. Um, this is basically the just the level you love to use the portal. It's simple. It's that. Then there's two new things. You got the abyss. You got the color of like the transfer transition and the abyss, which is basically the same thing over and over, which is basically. Workspace TP that config that TP. So basically, it's it's basically it's basically like a seller. Good, basically going to TP, copy this, whatever, and uh, yeah, that's really all you need to do. If you want to make a new TP, just simply duplicate this and call it um like I don't know um the let's call let's make, let's make a new area called the void, and uh, we'll call this we'll call this we'll duplicate this, uh, change this to uh. Let's change this to a different color. Also, I recommend you guys, if you guys want different colors, I highly advise you use color instead of brick color. Just want to give you guys a heads up on that. So, let's call the voice, make it like, I don't know, sure, dark purple, I guess. And, uh, config it. Uh, void, and click void. Alright. Guys, copy that. Copy that. Alright, now let's play the game. And it should work if I'm correct. If not, then I think I might have done something wrong. Or I think the game, because I did hear there is a glitch of that with this game. If I'm correct, I don't know, honestly. Um, oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you can see that there's a boss icon, you know, level doors and all stuff, so yeah. Uh, I think I might have clicked the wrong one. Give me a second. The, oh, wait, hold on. I think I know what I did. The void. There we go. Okay, I think I might have went a little. I think, okay, I think I have to rename it to the void as well. If I'm correct, I honestly do not know. We're about to find out. Yes, okay, okay, yes. So basically you have to rename it to the void. That's interesting. Oh my god, it goes back to it goes back to the C too. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Okay, yeah. Um but yeah, in the end there's really nothing much to say about this um game and stuff. There's there's really nothing much, honestly. So yeah, um yeah, so that's really all to say about that, about those things. Now let's move on to the next couple of us parts and stuff, so and the items itself, because the items are a bit more are harder to configure itself. But uh, I'll go over them either way. So let's start things off with the tool. What is the tool? So of course you got the bronze sword and stuff. So, and you may have noticed that wait, the bronze sword and the bronze armor don't show up in the starter pack. What the hell's going on? Well, it's in the, it's in the game config. But I'll go over that. But I'll, actually, I'll go over that right now if I should. Basically, the game config is like the normal config. You got the max level, XP per level. That's, that's a bit. This is actually more custom than the other one. Just saying right here. And then you got the starter items. This is where you get the items. So you got bronze sword, bronze armor, and yeah, pretty much. And you also got the support UI if you wanted to want support um, Air Science Kit in its own way, shape, or form by simply just pressing this. And yeah, pretty much. I mean, it is simple, but if you it, it, it is um, it's not really like needed. But if you would like to be a nice guy, and then uh, feel free to honestly. So yeah, um, that's really all to say honestly. So you got tool, bronze armor, bronze sword, bronze armor, and yeah, that's really all there is to say about the starter items. So. Um, yeah, now let's move on to the swords. Actually, yeah, let's move on to swords. So, let's start with the first one. It's called Tool. Um, so you got the melee client and, um, the melee. So let's start things off with the item config. So, basically, um, there are two things here. So you got a tool. This is the level required to kill. Use, I think? Okay. This is the cost of the sword. And, uh, this is basically the cost of the, of the, the weapon and the, and the selling price the weapon. That's pretty cool. You got the melee type. You got the weapon type melee. Damage one for two can be a table. I'm actually, I might go over all this later in a later video, but for now, um, I just wanted to show you guys all this. So you got auto fire. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. So 
You got activate animation, activate sound, equip sound. So yeah, um, basically, yeah, it's basically I think that um, equip sound is basically um, the unusual sound. So yeah, there's really much not much to say about that. So yeah. Anyways, now let's move on to um, auto fire. I think auto fire is basically, um, if I'm correct, um, literally just auto hit and multi if I'm correct. Um, I'll have to take a look at that honestly, but I'm gonna, gonna guess that's too. So yeah. Anyways, this is the level required and stuff, so I guess it's level and leave it as not again as don't show. So basically, if you guys want don't want to make your own icons for your game and stuff, then just feel free to leave this as now instead of, of keeping it with that. Because, man, let's be honest, um, making swords icons for your game is a little hard. I mean, I had to do it every day. Well, not every day, but I mean, still, it's kind of hard, so. Yeah, there's really not much to say about these swords and stuff. Now let's move on to the final um, parts. Now this is where we move to, you guessed it, the item configs. Are the the bronze configs? So here's how this works. So basically, um, this is the armor we got. This is armor. This is icon level cost. You get the point, honestly. So this is where things go get a bit more interesting. Basically, you got the health, walk speed, and jump power. These can either be multiple. These looks like can either be plus or subtracted. So basically, can be added or subtracted. So technically, if you guys wanted to do, I guess, uh, I don't know, negative twenty-five, then I guess you can do that. I honestly don't know how it works. I'm going to have to have to take a look at it later. But yeah, and you can also uh, do it like how you can view accessories and stuff like that, body parts and all that stuff. So basically if you'd want, didn't want your toast sword, you wanted your toast sword to show up, then um, I guess you can go for that. So yeah. Um, and that's really all there is to say, honestly. I mean, yeah, I, I know I am going over this a little slow and stuff. But I know I'm going over this um, a little too fast for those who might be curious about it. But um, if you guys have more any more questions, let me know down below. Or you guys want to have a check contact ever sign, feel free to contact him. I do know he has a Twitter, so that's really all I know about him. So, yeah. Anyways, that's really all I have to say. I mean, yeah. It's basically my review on his RPG game, so. Or RPG kit, so. Um, and I say it's actually pretty good, so. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I think I'm probably going to leave it off here and I'll let you guys explore it for yourself. I'll do more tutorials in the future, actually. And since this, actually, this is actually not like the Bianx kit, where basically it was just a prototype and it was just like it's for testing stuff. I actually, this is actually just the actual game. It's actually for, on sale right now. And you can have a look at it later if you guys want to, honestly. I, I'll put in a link down below for how I'm going to do that. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like and push my colleagues. So please be sure to subscribe. Like Anton Bell, Sun Show. But y'all also not miss you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Big Six now. Peace.